Okay, so over on my Twitter, I'll do different posts, maybe a trend of, uh, you know, uh, different pieces of advice. This is one I've done a few weeks ago. I'm going to do a little video on it. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to post them to my Twitter. Then I'm going to recap them on a video with a bit more detail. We'll just give you a guideline. So this one is five simple steps to skyrocketing your fitness, health and physique. So just five steps and we're going to start off with the first one here. So do simple body weight movements like push-ups, pull-ups and get good at them. So don't need to overcomplicate it. Uh, you know, don't need to follow any crazy reps, sets. Just do them every day and try to get good at them. Uh, it, this is old school style. You know, our, our dad would have done it. You know, we would have done it as kids. Have a number in your head of push-ups that you want to do. Constantly try to beat that. Same with, with uh, pull-ups, chin-ups. Just do them frequently. Get good at, get good at them and you're going to be already ahead of 90% of people. That's step number one. Two is eat lots of lean beef, steak, mince, um, whatever, whatever cut of beef. Beef can be super lean, so to, you know, you're not going to be getting too many calories from it, but obviously you're going to be getting tons of protein and then it's just highly nutritious as well. A lot better than chicken, um, in my opinion. And I'll probably get some people attacking me over saying it's better, or you know, you shouldn't do that with foods. But beef has generally more nutrients in it and more to offer than chicken. That's what I mean. So, beef is uh, eat lots of beef is number two. Number three, move a lot at a slow pace. Um, you don't need to be going out running every day. Just make sure that you're constantly moving. That could be in your work. Um, you know, be you have a physical job that you're on your feet, you're moving. You know, you're you're working as a waiter or whatever. Just make sure you're moving at a slow pace. Um, for an extended period of time, that is going to be much better than sitting on your ass all day, and then going out and doing the thirty minute run. Or you know, going out and doing a 5k run, but for the rest of the time you're sitting on your ass. Um, yes, yeah, so basically don't be a couch potato. Number four, lift heavy. Uh, have some form of, of heavy lift. Um, it's not a must if you're doing the body weight movements. Um, you can get a, get enough of a stimulus that way, um, but you should do at least some lifting. One to two times per week. Doesn't need to be a super long session. 20 minutes is plenty. That's all I do. I'll do one day, I'll do a certain lift. Next day, I'll do another lift. And then maybe another day, I'll do uh, a combined two lifts. That would be a lot of lifting in a week for me. Uh, you just need to you know, try to progress it. You don't now have to overcomplicate it, have big long sessions. If you have a few lifts that you're getting stronger with, well then you're getting stronger and that's what you're trying to achieve. And then the last one, sleep. Sleep well. Especially for men, you should be pitching a tent every morning. Um, you should have no issues with that. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's probably the best indicator you have of um, you know, your overall libido your testosterone, whatever, is that there's somebody saluting you in the morning. Um, you know, if you don't have that and you're in your 20s or, or 30s, whatever, um, you, you, you've got work to do. Um, you might be sleeping enough, recovering enough, you could be training too much, could be numerous factors, but then there, if you're sleeping really well, downstairs is probably gonna be working cooperating with you as well so do combine these five things and you will be ahead of 99% of people you'll be in the top 1% and it's not much to ask um, but you're gonna get a lot in return that's the first one um, Twitter coach Mark Dwyer make sure you follow me I'm gonna be posting 
I'll post more of these on Twitter and then I'll follow up with a video like I've done today. Thanks a lot guys and remember to give me the thumbs up.